Hey, what's up everybody? So, just wanted to talk a little bit about the latest offering from TorxSim, which is their SR22 Integra Avionics. It's basically the same SR22 that came out last summer, except uh, this one has the Avidyne Integra Avionics suite uh, versus the uh, G1000, which is the uh, the one that came out previously. It's pretty much the same aircraft. Uh, it has the same uh, menus and the same simulations as uh, the, the SR22 with the G1000 version. Um, everything's simulated. Uh, the, the only difference is uh, we're, we're going back in time, basically, to uh, basically the, the very first glass cockpit versions of the Cirrus, um, which utilized mainly the uh, dual uh, Garmin uh, GNS 430s, uh, 530s, uh, but but mainly uh, uh, the difference between this version and the G1000 is that um, the brains of the whole system with the Avidyne uh, cockpit is those dual GNS's versus the G1000 where it's all kind of integrated and it has its uh, uh, the perspective cockpit so uh, you, you kind of have to still know how to operate those dual garments below the uh, MFD to get all the same functions uh, as you would get in uh, uh, just one MFD, uh, such as the uh, the G1000. So, um, but uh, I, I, the the lighting uh, is is very nice. The aircraft overall uh, flies just as good as the uh, previous iteration with the G1000. And um, the uh, it's just the Avidyne. Uh, uh, it's uh, faithfully recreated. Uh, the same kind of graphics and <laughs> um, I would say even the I don't know if the, the real Avidyne system had kind of I don't know 8-bit kind of frame rate when uh, you spool up the engine and look at the engine page but um, uh, it, it, it's a faithful representation of the Avidyne system I'm a little curious why uh, Torxon decided to make this version, though. Um, it, I did see that uh, they partnered with uh, a, f a few other uh, third-party developers uh, that make hardware, uh, such as a, you know, um, hardware that simulates uh, those, those Garmin units, like the GNS 430s and 530s. Uh, as, as uh, external peripherals. So I'm, I'm kind of wondering is if this is uh, just a, a version of the aircraft to cater to, to users of those peripherals. Uh, and if that's the case, then uh, hey, more, more power to them. Uh, that, that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't have those peripherals. So uh, really, as far as uh, I'm concerned, would I have bought this aircraft had I not gotten the uh, the first one that came out last summer uh, I probably wouldn't have um, honestly because I don't like to go uh, backwards I only like to go forward and I would I would prefer just the most modern version of the cockpit and it's that would be the G1000 so uh, that being said also the, the G1000 in real life has been proven to really be a more safer uh, uh, system given all the redundancies and um, basically uh, uh, better functionality, really. Um, and uh, it, it's just, uh, it, I don't know. 
personally, I would prefer the G1000. If I was really buying this aircraft in real life, I would go with the G1000 version versus the Avidyne version. Uh, and that's really all there is to it. So there you have it. Uh, just two versions uh, available. And uh, choose which one uh, you prefer. Well, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, look forward to uh, messing with this plane a little more. You know, the Yavadine system, uh, it's unique. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch you later. Bye.